Hey everybody, want to wheeze them here. We are back. Part 117 of our Skylander Giants blind playthrough. Part 116, we upgraded Sprocket. I elected to take her down the operator path. It's what was currently leading on the blog poll. Um, may not seem like it would be as fun as Gearhead, but I do think it's probably the more practical of the two paths as it upgraded her primary and tertiary abilities. Uh, what we are going to do now is actually upgrade Fright Rider. Uh, if you didn't hear in the earlier videos or you know when I talked about it on the blog or an update or something, uh, really like Fright Rider. This is before I'd done anything with him. He was just box stock. Uh, when I launched the uh, upgrade path poles for the new landers, his was almost always knotted up. I mean, tied or within one or two, and. Uh, that usually means both paths are awesome. You know, with some characters, it's like a landslide. Some of them, you know, have like 15, 20 volt margin. But when it's that tight, uh, generally within, you know, eight or fewer volts, you know that either way you go is probably going to be pretty good. Uh, he finally he surfaced again. He was kind of hard to find, kind of like Slam Bam and Terrafin. Uh, some of the early release characters that were kind of out of production while the new ones were being made. Uh, Target had a sale. I can't remember what I paid. I think it was like seven ninety nine. It was something, you know, felt pretty good about it. And uh, might have been, a, I can't exactly remember now, but no, I got a good deal on it. And uh, felt like it was worth, you know, what I put into it. So I did buy a new Fright Rider. Uh, last night I had planned to record these upgrades. Uh, it wasn't wanting to happen, so essentially, I took the brand new box stock Fright Rider, uh, got him the necessary cash, took him through some heroic challenges, uh, the speed ones, the tough ones, you know, I was afraid we might not be able to do, Drobot, Double Trouble in particularly, and uh, then I went ahead, I bought him the base upgrades and the Soul Gym, just kind of get a feel for it. Uh, I think Fright Rider will be a f very fun and useful character down either path. And that's what we're going to focus on now with my original Fright Rider uh, that you know from the playthrough. We're going to go ahead and treat him to all the upgrades. He hasn't had anything done to him. And uh, then I'll take the other one down the other path and that way you can kind of see both paths. If you haven't upgraded, it'll definitely help you out, see which one you like better. Uh, maybe you were considering one and you thought it wasn't that great and then you loved the other one. Uh, so basically best case scenario for you when I can come in and actually do both paths. That way you kind of get to see them. You know, if you already have upgraded and you'd always wondered what the other path was, now you can see that and decide whether or not you want to reset or, you know, do what I did and buy a new one on sale. But, uh, I'm gonna back out here. Uh, as you can see, he's level 14. He has got 11,425. All you need uh, to fully upgrade a new lander is 8,520, so he'll have some cash left over for work. But, These are uh, the numbers of come champions. in. Take a look at his stats just for the heck of it. Uh, speed's pretty good, armor pretty low. <laughs> uh, critical hit, decent. Uh, it's done 13 roll challenges. Note that he's a slot higher level wise than Sprocket was, and we've played with him a lot. But anyway, what we want to do, you know what, let me take a look at his quest. I think his personal one involved a slow gym, soul gym, uh, toss 50 enemies into the air. Uh, let's go ahead now take a look at the upgrades. What we have right now, uh, melee attacks, press A to perform melee attacks with the ostrich and spear, and jousting charge. Uh, kind of common with the undead Skylanders. Press and hold B to charge towards enemies with your spear extended. Cool thing there is you actually get the speed boost, which is very, very helpful. His first upgrade is called the Gold Glaive. Melee attacks do increase damage, and also, as you can see, changes the spear up a little bit. Uh, next one is Burrow Bomber. Hold Z to burrow and steer the ostrich's head underground. Release Z to teleport to that location. Played with that last night. It was kind of neat. Uh, next one is Phantasm Strike. Jousting Charge does increase damage. Uh, then we have Halberd of Horror. Melee attacks do even more increased damage, as you might have guessed by what's in his hand. Uh, you then get to the point where you pick a path. I think the top one is Sir Lancelot, Fright Rider combos. Uh, 
I don't know what it is, I've been having a heck of a lot of trouble getting the combos to work well with the new landers. Uh, not an issue with the Series 2 and the old landers, but uh, AAB in particular, in this case for Fright Rider, that'll be the Spear Vault, Vault, and then AAZ will be the Skull Slam, that sounds pretty sweet. Uh, second one is Flock of Fury. Hold A to unleash a fury of multiple ostrich heads. And then we have Supreme Spear. Melee attacks do maximum damage. Again, I'd love numbers that you'll give them to us. You have to find them yourself. Next one is, uh, what is it? Let me take a look here. Uh, joust Jockey, I think is what it's called. Joust Juice. When jousting charge is faster and does increase damage. Uh, entombment Strike. While charging, press Z to perform a powerful downward strike. That looks pretty sweet. And then finally, 360 degrees of spear. While charging, press A to swing the spear around the 360 degree attack. This is an issue. Uh, even after having messed around with the base upgrades last night on our spare one, uh, it'd be really hard to pick a path. I mean, this one basically uh, melee attacks, you know, and that's basically all it addresses. This one you get a uh, kind of like a secondary attack off of your secondary attack with the entombment strike. And then that, to me, looks like it might be really, really useful, the 360 degrees of spear. Uh, his soul gem, and I did buy this one on our uh, other one, is called a real drag. While burrowing, the spear can drag enemies underground. Soul gem can be found in aerial attack. We're going to go ahead, here is his base attack, you basically it alternates, you have Fright, the ostrich, uh, you know, bob his head initially, and then if you're doing it in succession, you'll see a uh, rider thrust his spear there, so it's basically kind of like a 1-2 and then the joust charge. Pretty good range, almost made it to the edge of the ship, and more importantly, you pick up that extra speed, so Welcome we're going to come back. in here, ready for another magical upgrade? and we are ready for another magical upgrade. So, let's get started here. I realize this is repetitive, but this is kind of the format I elected to go with, so... Uh, First upgrade runs you 300, it's gold glaive, melee attacks do increase damage. Note what the spear is turned into, you can see it pretty good in that box right there. Uh, bottom line, you've got 11, 4, 25, and wing sapphires 20. If you've completed the game and you don't have 20 wing sapphires, go back and find them. 16 in the levels, and then uh, 4 strung out around the ship. They will definitely come in handy as you get a bigger discount. I said we're gonna pick this one. Unstoppable! Don't the undead kind of get that like pale purple? Uh, there's a really good look conveniently at what it did to his spear. And we didn't mean to do that, but welcome back. <laughs> there's Persephone. We're gonna skip that and we'll upgrade it. Uh, this one is his tertiary attack, Burrow Bomber. Hold Z to burrow and steer the ostrich's head underground. Release Z to teleport to that location. Cost is 420. I'm wondering if this is what we have to use to toss enemies into the air. I'm not exactly sure. Um, there it is. You kind of see, I mean, it's, it's pretty impressive for a tertiary attack. I'll make a little circle here. That one I just let expire on its own. You can actually do it as short as you want to. Or you can just, you know, kind of be underground and drag it out. Next upgrade, Phantasm Strike. Jousting Charge does increase damage costs. We'll, uh, try that one. Right time. As you can see there, uh, Let's ride. that's Let's pretty jump. sweet. Basically, it's his upgraded spear, and then it kind of puts that, like, aura around it. Uh, not quite sure what the numbers will be damage wise, but it does look cool, so we're happy. <laughs> you know. Next up is Halberd of Horror. Melee attacks do even more increased damage. Note the look of the spear. Uh, cost is 720. We're going to pick that up. 
Right here, when you buy that last base upgrade, it's going to want you to select a path if you need to play around with them. Uh, kind of see what you like better, or you're just completely unsure and you plan to watch videos or research it. Hit the B button, it won't lock you in. However, if you do press A for whatever reason, uh, can't switch paths with the new landers and you're going to be stuck with whatever it is. So keep that in mind and again, uh, if you're panicking, just hit B and it won't lock you into anything. That said, his choices, uh, we covered them there in the uh, character info screen, that's kind of why I do that one. Uh, Sir Lancelot, further develop your melee attacks, and then Joust Jockey, further developing, further develop your jousting abilities. Uh, if I had just one Fright Rider, uh, I would be inclined to do Joust Jockey, just because I think it would be a little bit more practical. I'm a big fan of the charge attacks, as you probably know. Uh, you get the increased speed, uh, they're usually very, very effective the way I play the game. Uh, particularly the two that come to mind are Ghost Roaster and Drill Sergeant. Uh, I am a huge Ghost Roaster Skullmaster fan. Uh, it's just an awesome path. I kind of associate it particularly being undead with Ghost Roaster. Uh, plus that last one, the 360 degrees of spear. Uh, I can see that one like kind of being like a really nice compliment. You may not get like the upgrades to your primary attacks on the first path, but just being able to charge and then having the spear, you know, for 360 degrees, I think that's going to be real nice. That said, I don't just have one Fright Rider. I bought the second one, so we have two. Uh, the intriguing thing about Sir Lancelot, that's my name, so it's kind of not obviously Sir Lancelot, but Lance, so. Uh, Fright Rider and Shill kind of had my attention from the beginning because of their brilliantly named upgrade pass, if you will. So, uh, this time around on our first Fright Rider, again, this is the one that you saw in the. Uh, I'm going to go Unstoppable! Big thing if you do pick there, you don't have to watch like a pointless cutscene. So. Uh, check out a spear now. It's like a spear combined with an axe. Doesn't seem like it would be very efficient for jousting, but uh, slaughtering people while you promenade around, I think, would be pretty nice. So, <laughs> nonetheless, there is our uh, one-two punch now, if you will, with uh, fright, our upgraded spear, and then the charge uh, looks really awesome too. It has a phantasm aura around it. But, uh, and we still have this, so it's kind of nice. We'll come in now, and uh, I'm going to go down Sir Lancelot. Uh, first combo, which hopefully we can get to work with Fright Rider, will be the AAB one. Uh, it's going to be the Spear Vault, and AAZ, which looks really cool. It's going to be Skull Spear, it costs us time. Right time! Ah! Alright, so let's see if we can get this to work. Thank you, Fry Rider. <laughs> you know, I don't know why everyone can't do that. There's AAB, so he basically, he's on the back of Fright, he puts the spear in the ground, uses it as like a uh, pole vault, if you will, flips over, and then uses the momentum generated from him flipping to pound the enemy. I can see that doing a crud ton of damage. If it doesn't, it's going to be pretty sweet to do anyway. Uh, the cool thing is, we now get to see what the other one is, which would be AAZ. I don't know if we did that right. Huh. Okay. I kind of might have worded that differently if I handled things, but that's what we were looking for. Uh, essentially, AAB. Ugh, now we're having trouble. Okay, that to me is like the downward slam. I know it's the opposite of what that deal said, and then AAZ is going to be Fright the Ostrich. It's like Peckerhead or something. <laughs> Again, don't know what damage it'll do, but it looks like those are two pretty sweet combos. So. 
It's probably one of those deals when you get in a bind and you're running around, you'll be button mashing and execute one, and uh, hopefully they help you clear the area out. So, I'm gonna come back, upgrade, we'll get our second one down, Sir Lancelot. It's gonna be Flock of f f Fury. Uh, anytime I see flock, I want to say furry, just out of habit. But, uh, hold A to unleash a fury of multiple ostrich heads. Uh, this is another one, I don't know if maybe it would help you get the enemies in the air, but I'm thinking it has to be his base attack since that's his personal quest. And obviously, if you went down Joust, you're going to pick it up. Cost is 1320. We'll see exactly what it does. Alright, so here's our tap tap on A. You get Fright's head and then spear, and that one we hold A. I guess you have to release it. Okay. So I guess it goes. Note, the cool thing is, you could like charge it up here, and if enemies came from behind you, you can actually manipulate the direction uh, while you hold A down. I don't know exactly what damage it'll do, but again, I think it'll kind of be something we can actually use. So, uh, his final upgrade, Town Sir Lancelot, fittingly enough, will be the uh, Supreme Spear. Really attacks the max and the damage cost is 1800. Unstoppable. Uh, hopefully this one will be good. Spear looked pretty sweet from that little glimpse we saw. Yeah, the uh, Axe Spear, the one prior to this, might look more impressive to most people, but uh, this one looks like it'll do some damage. The skull's a nice touch. Uh, let's go ahead. It really is going to depend on how much damage that does and like how much the, really across the board on Sir Lancelot. Uh, the question being, what does your spear do fully maxed out? And then you know, while you were doing that, what do the ostrich heads do? And similarly, you know, the combos. Let's take a look at those. Uh, it's really hard to get these things to do what you want them to. Okay, so you still can't burrow us. Looks pretty awesome with the extreme spear, or supreme spear, I should say. So there's our pegahead, as I call it for some reason. Having trouble with A, B. Okay, that's what I wanted to see, is what that looked like with his supreme spear. Pretty impressive. Uh, I think that may be the one I'm the most excited about, the A, B. Gonna come in now, pick up his soul gem, a real drag while burrowing. The spear can drag enemies. Good grief. While burrowing, the spear can drag enemies underground. The soul gem found a aerial attack. Cost is 2400. We're gonna pick it up. Alright, so now it's like added a little bit, kind of like that bone structure to the spear. Uh, let's just go ahead and get out of here. Uh, we're gonna burrow, and uh, I'm sorry, we're not going to burrow. <laughs> we're gonna drag this one out. Okay, let's try that again. I'm going to burrow, and I'm going to drag this one out. Well, you know, it seems like the base one with the soul gym went a bit farther. What the deal is there? I, I know last night when I did the base upgrades in the Soul Gym, I could go from the ship to the ship and turn and be like right here. Uh, quite sure what the deal is, but anyway, basically what we did with Sir Lancelot, we upgraded the spear to the Supreme Spear, which you can see there, uh, augmented with our Soul Gym edition. Basically, that's the one-two punch with your primary attack button. Uh, the Joust Charge. Didn't get anything but the base upgrades. Note that we do have the Supreme Spear. I don't know if that impacts it or not. And then uh, you've got the AAB. Which I think that looks awesome. Again, I'm not quite sure what it'll do damage wise. AAZ, uh, you can actually walk around, so that's a perk to this one. And uh, just let Fright's skull down into something. Uh, 
hits and you've got the uh this is holding down. So that's about as far as you're gonna go, but uh the burrow you can control, you can go upstairs if you want to. Or at least I could last night, let's find out. Yeah, so that's kinda cool. But uh apparently the spear will drag people underground while you do that. Uh, I think it looks like a pretty pretty nice path again is kinda gonna come down to how much damage everything does. Uh there is that one though, you hold the A button and you can actually get the ostrich heads to pop up, so Looks like it'll be a fun path to play with. Uh, obviously, your most useful thing is going to be your just upgrade of the primary. And then uh, the soul gem, I think, might come in handy. This really kind of depends what dragging an enemy underground does in the game. Uh, and then just really, that's just awesome. I, it may not be accurate, it may not deal a lot of damage for all we know, but it does look awesome. So pretty content with that. I think what I'll do uh, just to kind of help people out is make the second round of upgrades with the other Fright Rider just as its own standalone video. It won't be a long one since we have the base upgrades, but uh, I think that'll work well and then in that one I'll actually bring this guy back in and we'll compare the two of them. So, uh, as always, thanks for watching. You can follow me on Twitter, like me on Facebook, circle me on Google+, whichever you prefer. Uh, again, on the blog, oneofwisdom.blogspot.com, you kind of keep up with all the latest. I'll have all this stuff archived there, the cost of the upgrades, all that jazz. Uh, similarly, there's always going to be polls going on right now. We've got the Castaways versus Newlanders. You can still vote in. And uh, similarly, right now we have the upgrade path polls for, fittingly enough, New Landers and Giants. So be sure to check those out, cast your vote. Uh, if you don't have the characters or you've only done one path and don't want to vote till you've seen the other, uh, good news is with most of these New Landers, I'm able to actually show you both paths so it kind of works out well. But uh, again, that's on the blog, oneofweasdom.blogspot.com. Thanks for watching. Uh, I'm going to come back, I guess 118 will hit up the uh, new in the box Fright Rider, take him down an upgrade path, Joust Jockey, see how we like him, compare and contrast him with Sir Lancelot, and uh, then part 119, I guess we'll start in on Chill, so again, thanks for watching, we will catch you back here shortly.